Chapter 12 of Australian Legendary Tales Folklore. This is a LibriVox recording. LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Australian Legendary Tales Folklore by Mrs. K. Langlow Parker. Chapter 12 The Mayama. The blacks had all left their camp and gone away to a ten borer. Nothing was left in the camp but one very old dog, too old to travel. After the blacks had been gone about three days, one night came their enemies, the Gooeyays, intending to surprise them and kill them. Painted in all the glory of their war paint came the Gooeyays, their hair tied in top knots and ornamented with feathers and kangaroo's teeth. Their way was of paddy, melon and kangaroo rat skins cut in strips round their waist were new and strong, holding firmly some of their boomerangs and waguras, which they had stuck through them. But prepared as they were for conquest, they found only a deserted camp containing naught but one old dog. They asked the old dog where the blacks were gone, but he only shook his head. Again and again they asked him, and again and again he only shook his head. At last some of the black fellows raised their spears and their marillas or nulla nullas, saying, If you don't tell us where the blacks are gone, we shall kill you. Then spoke the old dog, saying only, Gone to the borer. And as he spoke, every one of the gooeyays and everything they had with them was turned to stone. Even the waywas around their waist, the top knots on their heads and their spears in their hands, even these turned to stone. And when the blacks returned to their camp long afterwards, when the borer was over, and the boys, who had been made young men, gone out into the bush to undergo their novitiate, each with his solitary guardian, then saw the blacks their enemies, the Gooeyays, standing around their old camp, as if to attack it. But instead of being men of flesh, they were men of stone. They, their weapons, their waywas, and all that belonged to them, stone. And at that place are to be found stones or mayamars of great beauty, striped and marked and coloured as were the men painted. And the place of the mayamar is on one of the mounts near Beamery. End of chapter 12